So the M4 iMac has just officially came out, and I want to go and give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use this particular Mac. Now, luckily for us, this is a very beautiful machine. It has a lot of capability around it. And if you're new to the whole entire M lineup, I'll go and show you how to get into it. Now, number one, on the front side of this particular display, you are basically getting a 24 inch, you know, beautiful display. It's a four and a half K display. It looks very nice. You have a little bit of bezel around it. So you have this white bezel. You have this little block at the bottom, which doesn't really give you any features, but underneath it, there is a speaker grill, which is really nice. And the whole entire computer, for the most part, is stuck and built in right at this very bottom portion, which is actually pretty insane. Now you have a FaceTime camera at the very front top right here. It has a built-in microphone as well, which is really nice. You have your stand at the bottom, so you can go through and, you know, kind of put the stand up and down depending on which way you want it. You know, it depends on kind of which way you want to go about it. On the one side, you don't really have too much. It's basically just thin bezels. And now we get to the bottom side. So on the left side, so if you're looking at it, the bottom left is going to be giving you these USB type C ports. So these are very nice and convenient because you can just go through and just plug in your you know, ports here. It's very, very convenient, like I mentioned. On the right side, all the way at the end, you're basically getting your power button. So that is your power button, how you can go ahead and basically just you know, power this thing on. And then you're getting in the right in the middle right here, you're basically getting your power adapter. So to set up your M4 iMac, it's actually a very, very basic process. All you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and grab your particular power adapter that comes inside of the box. So grab that power adapter, it's right inside of the box. You can just go and buy it, or it's already in the box if you, you know, picked it up. Connect the power adapter port to this particular block right here. And then what you wanna do is you wanna grab the other side of your power adapter, which looks like this. It's just your standard power adapter as you normally would get it. And all you wanna do is you wanna plug this in right inside of this hole right there. So grab this port right here and go ahead and plug it in just like this. It's a magnetic port, so it will automatically just kind of plug it into place. Now, at that time, what I'd recommend doing is to go through and just power on your Mac. Now, when you click on that power button, it should make a sound like you hear right now. And then you're almost ready to go. The next thing you're going to wanna do is you wanna grab a USB Type-C port or your USB Type-C cord. If this is your first time connecting a Mac you know, to the keyboard, then this is your you know, how you wanna do it. So like we mentioned before, these two USB-C ports right here, grab your USB Type-C cord that came right in the side of the box, and go ahead and plug this into your particular Mac, and then go ahead and grab your accessories. So these keyboards and these mouses come right inside of the box. So you can go through, just plug this keyboard in just like so, and you'll be able to actually have your you know, keyboard fully connected now to your you know iMac. So that's one thing. That's how you're going to want to do it. It's very, very easy. So to connect your keyboard to your iMac, you want to go and plug in the cord just like this and plug it into the other side of your keyboard. Now to connect a magic trackpad or a mouse to your iMac, it's essentially the same process. So grab your magic mouse, grab whatever you have, make sure the cord is connected to your device like this. And then all you're going to want to do is plug in this particular cord to your Mac. So just like this one more time, you can go and plug in your Mac to your you know, magic mouse, and that'll basically be able to configure it and turn it on. So turn it on like this, and that should go ahead and you know, see that it's on. And then finally, if you have a magic trackpad, it's more or less the same exact thing. Grab your cord, again, as long as your Mac is on, go ahead, plug it in, and that will go ahead and automatically connect your Mac to your magic trackpad. Now at this point, you should be good to go. So now if you go and take a look at your Mac as soon as you turn it on, this is basically what it's going to look like. So this is something that's actually really, really cool because now this is basically what your Mac is going to feel like. It's going to look like this. It's gonna be a you know, full on Mac as soon as you pick it up, which is genuinely very awesome. Now, a very, very big thing to keep in mind is that when you first turn on your Mac, this is the display. So this is your home screen. It looks very beautiful. I love this type of Mac a lot because it just looks so amazing. Now, you'll see at the very top, you'll have your status bar. This is always going to be here. So no matter what you do, this status bar at the very top is probably most likely going to be here, unless you're going to go through and you're going to like use a, some sort of other type of, like if you're doing a full screen app, then this will be gone. If you look all the way to the right side right here, if you go and look at the right side where my mouse is, all the way over there, you'll see that I have my Wi-Fi icon here, my search icon if I want to do a spotlight search somewhere or search for an application, I can search for that there. Or if I want to, I can also go and click on my control center here and I can get access to a lot of other things. 
So my control center will give me access to my Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you know, AirDrop, but also it can go and allow me to change my you know, display settings, my sound settings here too, if I want to go and configure those things. So I have that type of ability of kind of doing that here, which again is another really awesome thing here. Now the desktop here is basically just your standard desktop. So this will just be all the you know, files you have on your desktop and folders and all those other things. So that will basically come up here. So that will all be populated right here, which is really cool. At the very bottom, you'll see your dock. So this dock is really cool because it's just all the applications you want saved on your dock will show up right here. So you can completely customize it, but you can also any application that you open, it'll also show up right here. And it's very, very convenient. So for example, let's say I want to go into mail, right? Well, I can have this quickly open up my mail application and I can get access to all my mail right here, which is really cool. But if I wanted, let's say I didn't want my messages icon here, right? Let's say I wanted to delete it. Well, I can right click on my particular mouse and I can go ahead and click on options. And I can go ahead and basically remove from my dock, which is right there. So I can also just do that right there, which is another really, really convenient thing. And I can do this with any app. Let's say I don't want contacts here. Right click, options, remove from dock. Now, these aren't all the applications I have stored on my Mac. So if you think about it like an iPhone or any other device, if you want to go ahead and see all your other devices, you may have to switch pages or open up a menu bar. So to do that, we can go and see all of our applications by clicking on Launchpad. So if we click on Launchpad, you can see all the applications that we basically have here. So you can either configure all these pages just by going and using your mouse but you, uh, or your keyboard, but you can see all the different applications that we have inside of our Mac. So once again, this is another really nice convenient thing. You can basically just go through and use this as you normally would, but then you can even swipe between the pages if there's multiple different you know, applications to choose from. At the very top, there's the search bar, and you can click on the search bar if you want to, if you want to go and search for a specific thing. So that kind of covers that up. Now, if you want to download applications or utilize more apps, you can always go inside of your app store, which is right here, and you should be able to go through and get access to all the applications that are currently inside of the app store. So if you're ever searching for a particular app, if you want to see a particular app or anything like that, you can do that just by going into this panel. So you can go through and search for any type of application that you want to. If you want to exit out of an application, you can click on this X button. You can minimize an application by clicking on this minimize button. And if you want to full screen an app, you can click on this green button right here, and that will basically full screen the application for you, which is another very convenient thing. Now, once that's done, the last application I'd probably recommend kind of showcasing you is the settings application. So inside of the settings app, if you go inside of settings, which is right here, there is a lot of stuff to kind of think about here. So number one, if you're going to go through and like utilize settings, a big thing to keep in mind is that there's a lot of stuff within here I'd recommend kind of getting used to. So here you can sign in and access your Apple ID account. You have your Wi-Fi connection, screensaver, privacy stuff, and you know iCloud stuff here too. But a big thing I'd recommend doing as soon as you go and buy your Mac is to go and click on the general setting right here, clicking on soft update, which is right there, and updating your Mac as soon as you buy it. This is by far one of the most important things I'd recommend doing because by the time you already buy your iMac, there might already be updates available for it. So I'd recommend just going through here every once in a while beyond the just the standard settings, updating your you know, device as soon as you can, and even clicking on the search bar and basically searching for settings that you're trying to update or if you're trying to change things, you can always search for them right here too. So that is basically how you use your iMac for the most part. It's a pretty basic process. There's not anything super crazy here. Hopefully it kind of makes sense to you, but I think you made a really good decision and these Macs are going to last forever. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.